Five American Bully Mixes, Rare Breeds You've Got to Love The American Bully is one of the youngest breeds in existence, and American Bully Mixes are some of the most beloved dog breeds out there. Bred from the American Pit Bull Terrier and the American Staffordshire Terrier, it's the result of careful breeding that took place during the 80s and 90s to get the best characteristics out of the genetic material of several bully breeds and bloodlines. It has been bred with as many as five other bully breeds, including the Staffordshire Bull Terrier, the Old English Bulldog, and the Bull Mastiff. The American Kennel Club, AKC, still does not recognize it, but the American Bully Kennel Club is known to register these dogs and host dog shows. Although it emerged pretty rapidly compared to other dog breeds, some of which needed to be bred for centuries on end, the American Bully quickly rose in popularity. Ownership of one has become somewhat of a status symbol, especially in hip-hop and urban culture. That being said, you might have come across a bully in the dog park that you could have sworn had something else mixed in there as well. It could have been one with different colored bright eyes, which seemed to be unusually small or especially fond of water. If it made you wonder what kind of dog breeders could add to this designer breed mix, you've come to the right place. In today's article, let's go over some American bully mixes that you don't see every day. First of all, though, we should get to know the dog that makes up a part of every one of these beautiful mixed breed dogs. What does an American bully look like? According to the American Bully Kennel Club, this breed comes in a few different sizes, Standard, Pocket Bully, Classic, and XL, but the Standard one is the only one that's considered purebred. The Standard Bully's height and weight are Males, 18 to 21 in, 35 to 60 pounds Females, 17 to 20 in, 30 to 50 pounds You can check the American Bully growth chart for more details at first glance, you will recognize the particulars of all bully breeds in it. It has a short snout, a wide grin hiding a powerful jaw, and ears that hang along the sides like tags. They are often clipped for a variety of reasons. It has a short, stout, and muscular build, its body is very powerful, and it's able to propel itself effortlessly through air with its strong hind legs and compact size. The American Bully colors are found in mixes as well. These dogs come in all possible pit tie colors, including black, white, fawn, tan, brindle, brown, red, and the amazing blue variant. Find more information in our article on American Bully colors. They usually have one of these colors with white patches on the sides, stomach, and chest. Tricolor American Bullies have three colors in the mix and are especially valued by some, and breeders market their bullies as Ghost Tri, Red Nose, and so on, depending on the patterns. These are the more extensively bred of the bunch and will cost more. Their coat is short, silky, and rough, and it doesn't require much grooming. The natural glossiness of their fur is a sure sign of a healthy diet. You should feed your dog premium dog food to keep its hair strands shiny and beautiful. We've gathered some info on a few of them, so let's start with the first of the bunch. 1. American Bully Mixed with Pitbull, the XL American Bully. The XL American Bully Standing on Grass. Photo from at Topsil Bully Zilk. The American Bully already has American Pit Bull Terrier blood running through its veins, yet some prefer a more pity-like variant of this breed. For them, the XL Bully Pit might make an ideal choice. Also called the Colorado Bulldog, this dog usually has a longer body than your average bully and a bigger, more robust head and jaw. The XL Bulla Pit's appearance, size, and temperament. It is a moderately large dog, bred to resemble the traditional American Pit Bull Terrier while retaining the bully's toned muscles, size, and temperament. Taking after either breed, it sports a short coat that can come in various patterns and colors, most often black, white, brown, or chocolate. Its size is between its two parent breeds, its height at the shoulder is roughly 21 to 24 inches, and it weighs in at about 40 to 55 pounds. It grows from a small, frail pup to a bulky, large dog very quickly, so keep that in mind. The XL Bully Pit is a very gentle and loving dog in the guise of a vicious guard dog. 
It might act like that around others, but will drop the charade once it's home and surrounded by family members. XL Bully Pit Compatibility, Price, Etc. American bullies are bred to be great family dogs, and so is this lot. However, they are very energetic and prone to mischief. This is the type of dog that will gnaw on your shoes or destroy your furniture while you are away. For that, they require a lot of training, attention, and affection growing up and need to be exposed to early and mindful socialization. It responds best to positive reinforcement. Also, this dog is very energetic and requires at least an hour of daily exercise. Its excess energy should be depleted by regular trips to the dog park, playing fetch, etc. The characteristics of each dog are best observed by studying the same pedigrees of the mother and father. American Bully Kennel Club registered pups are your best bet. Several breeders sell litters of the American Bully and Pit Bull mixes as they are relatively similar and easy to breed. Depending on who you ask, a quality pup could set you back from $2,500 to $5,000. It seems to be somewhat cheaper than a purebred American Bully. But isn't the American Bully a Pit Bull? What's the difference? An American Bully is not the same as a Pit Bull. The only dog we should call a proper Pit Bull is the American Pit Bull Terrier or APBT. Bully dogs, in a general sense, refer to a plethora of different breeds, which are all descendants of the ancient Greek Molosser breed, share a lot of similarities, and are named for their historical use in bull baiting, among other blood sports. People tend to refer to every bully breed as a pit bull. Calling their dog a pit time might infuriate some enthusiasts, especially if they are American Staffordshire Terrier or Staffordshire Bull Terrier owners. 2. The Pocket American Bully Mix Two pocket American bullies running outside on grass. Wait, so this is not the same breed as the standard bully either? Unlike some toy breeds like the Schnauzer or Poodle, this dog's petite variant is a mixed designer dog made by breeding the standard American bully with the Patterdale Terrier. We love its pocket size and bully temperament. Although the name suggests it to be tiny, this dog could be considered on the lower end of medium, standing at about 12 to 16 in height. It is, however, very compact and fits snugly into every home or apartment. It comes in most colors, often mixed with white, but some breeders sell tricolor or red nose pocket American bullies. It's not much of a shitter, and it's effortless to groom, but a special pit tie brush should be used. Although easy to maintain, its fur is not hypoallergenic. Like many small terriers, the Patterdale Terrier is a very wired and energetic breed. The mix could inherit this natural eagerness from its use in bird and small game hunting. However, its bully blood should have it behaving laxer and down to earth as well as loyal, loving, and obedient. What do pocket American bully puppies cost? These adorable puppies might be going for quite a sum at your local breeders. You could be paying more than the average $3,000 to $4,000 that you'd cash out for a standard American bully. This is because the breed is in high demand and not commonly bred, although the trends seem to be changing. This breed is unlikely to be recognized by the AKC anytime soon as it is too mixed and not widespread enough. You can check if your potential pup's parents have an American Bully Kennel Club pedigree, though. 3. The American Bully Husky Mix, the Bully Pit Sky. The so-called Bully Pit Sky or Bull Sky is precisely what the nickname suggests, a cross between the American Bully and the Siberian Husky or Alaskan Malamute. It is a recently bred designer dog breed, but its popularity is growing worldwide due to its unusual appearance and desirable traits. The American Bully Husky mixes general traits. Physically, this dog can inherit any variety of its parents' recessive or dominant genes. They are usually bred to inherit those piercing bright or heterochromatic eyes like the husky but bear the American bully's ultimate resemblance, retaining its size, physique, and muscular build. This is possible, in part, because the American bully is already mixed full of dominant traits, so their offspring tend to inherit the particulars of its bloodline. Their ears are often upright, just like their Siberian parents, and their fur often comes in black, brown, and white and has a husky color pattern. 
The Bulski's wolf eyes convey its character. However, they inherit a lot of the Husky's character and thus appear more wolf-like in behavior and temperament than the laid-back and joyful bully. They are very energetic and playful and require a great deal of exercise. They are liable to inherit some of their parents' prey drive, hyper-alertness, and erratic behavior, so keep that in mind. To ensure you get the best possible pup according to your needs, you should make sure that they're bred by a reputable breeder. This breed is not recognized by the American Kennel Club, AKC, and, as such, unfortunately, will have to miss out on appearances at dog shows, etc. Considering these facts, a husky name could fit your pooch more than a pit bull one. For the American Bully Chihuahua Mix, the Bully Cheat. Also known as the American Bulluawa, this breed is as unlikely as they get. Designer dogs tend to have silly names like the Multipu or the Golden Doodle. It is real, though, and growing in popularity. It's hard to agree on what it should look like. It is often a pocket American Bully Chihuahua mix, so this is far from a purebred dog. It can go either way, depending on what traits the breeder was aiming for. This designer dog is typically 15 to 20 inches tall, bigger than any Chihuahua, and more resembles the American Bully. It has a fairly muscular build, a strong jaw, and a bulky body, unlike the scrawny chihuahua. Its head shape is very similar to that of the chihuahua, though, and another thing it inherits from this Mexican breed are its black, beady eyes full of excitement and wonder. Its coat might be inherited from either side of the family, but is typically short and smooth and doesn't require extensive grooming. It comes in all colors, just like the bully and the chihuahua both do. It is, again, more of a question of the dogs in particular that are mixed to form a litter of this rare designer breed. And what about the Bully Cheese personality? The American Bully and the Chihuahua's temperaments are two polar opposites, with one being known as the joyful, calm, and happy-go-lucky type. In contrast, the other is known to be one of the most anxious and nervous breeds, prone to random aggression and temper tantrums. We will let you, the reader, guess which is which. A bark collar might come in useful if it inherits the Chihuahua's loudness and irritability. It's a gamble, and you will never know for sure how your designer pup will turn out. I personally feel that most dog owners would prefer the bully's mellow personality to stand out, but some people are big fans of dogs with attitude and spunk. However, this is no toy breed and could become unmanageable if you don't play your cards right. Getting your bully chi is just the beginning. It requires a lot of care and socialization so that it learns to get along with other dogs and humans. Unless brought up properly, this American bully mix could prove to be an absolute tyrant in the dog park or even your own house. The best trick is positive reinforcement. This dog breed is known to be intelligent, loyal, obedient, and very courageous. Coupled with the Chihuahua's natural wariness, it makes for a great watchdog breed. They are not high maintenance and do not shed much. Using the right brush bully chi weekly should be enough to get rid of excess fur and keep their coat shiny and smooth. It would be best to look for this mix in the kennels of reputable chihuahua breeders. They just might be dabbling in mixing designer variants if it's your lucky day. 5. The American Bully Lab Mix, the American Labrador. This mix of two family favorites seems like the friendliest dog in the world. It's hard to imagine two breeds more suited to the idyllic family life you might be dreaming of. What does the Labrador look and act like? This is a medium dog, standing in between its two progenitor breeds in terms of size. They come in every Labrador color, and they are most commonly seen in a pure black color, but that's by no means a rule. Their fur is short, but they sport a thicker undercoat than the American Bully and shed a great deal more. Their snout, ears, and tail are less mastiff-like, and their appearance is gentler with less prominent bully features than other American bully mixes. This reflects their nature as this is a genuinely gentle dog who would make an excellent addition to any family. They are intelligent, loyal, clever, and great with kids. This breed is an all-rounder that could serve as a great companion to you and your loved ones. It is, anecdotally, very timid and gentle and known to be easily frightened. Not much of a guard dog, I would say. 
This pooch should be treated with kindness and gentle care. Things you should know before you get a Labrabool. It also requires a bit more maintenance as it tends to be a bit longer and shaggier than other American bully mixes and needs to be groomed with the right brush. This dog is very active and should be given plenty of exercise and you should only feed it the right dog food containing all the necessary ingredients for its health and wellness. You should have a house and a yard if you are interested in getting this dog as its highly spirited, playful nature is not well suited for condos and apartments. Labradors are known to be fond of water, so your mix might be as well. Take them to the lake, river, or beach and see how it goes. It might just make for the best day of their life. The term Labrabool is sometimes also used to describe the mix of the American Pit Bull Terrier and the American Bulldog with the Labrador or Labrador Retriever, so keep that in mind when dealing with breeders. If you are interested solely in an American Bully mix, it is important to stress this, or you might mistakenly end up with a different dog than the one you were going for. American Bully Mixes Honorable Mentions Some mixes are too rare and undocumented to write about, so we couldn't include them in our list. As people continue to experiment with breeding these designer dogs, the list might expand in the near future. Like the classic American Bully, some are a whole different matter, and we didn't find it appropriate to lump them in with these mixed breed dogs. The classic American Bully is no mix. It's not a mix per se, but it is a lesser known variant of the Bully breed that you could also stumble upon in your search for the ideal Bully dog. It's actually a Bully roughly the same size as a standard with different pit tie and Stafforded mixtures that make it look more like the two of its progenitor breeds. Its muscles are slightly less pronounced, and its stature is taller and more balanced. It is thus more suitable as a watchdog or a guard dog, which is part of the reason this strain was bred this way. The Exotic and Clean Exotic Bully There's no doubt that the Exotic Bully is a breed of its own rather than a mixed breed dog. It is a small dog, even smaller than the Pocket Bully, and has a very prominent bulldog appearance, short, stubby legs, and a big, square head. In a way, it was bred to be even bullier than the Bully. It bears a strong resemblance to the French Bulldog, one of the breeds used in the mix. It is also a designer breed and, as such, not recognized by the AKC or any other kennels. The clean exotic term refers to exotic bullies free of the many deformities the breed is known to harbor, such as an abnormal head, weak jaw, overbite, or underbite. These are probably bred from pedigree parents and will likely fetch a higher price on the exotic bully market. With American bully mixes, the possibilities are endless. The American Bulldog Shepherd looking at camera. There are a variety of less documented crossbreeds, such as the German Shepherd, the Great Dane, the Dachshund, the Beagle, the Boxer, you name it. There's one to cater to every possible particularity you might be looking for in a dog. These breeds do not have a breed standard, so they vary greatly from litter to litter. The AKC doesn't recognize the Bully or any of its crosses as a separate breed, so these breeds bear no official pedigree. There are several hybrid and purebred dog registries where you can register your bully breed mix, like the American Bully Kennel Club or International Designer Canine Registry, IDCR. Which American bully mix should I get? That is truly in the eye of the beholder. With such a wide variety to choose from, it really depends on what you are looking for in a dog. You might stumble across a different mix as well, one with the Boxer, German Shepherd, Boston Terrier, or even the Pug. What they all have in common is what we all know and love about the American Bully. So, in a sense, it's like choosing your own self, as it is likely that some of your best attributes and values lie reflected in one of these crossbreeds. Whichever one you choose, it's unlikely that you will regret it. Read more, how much does an American Bully cost? Taking care of your American Bully mix. What all these breeds have in common is that they require a great deal of walking because they are very eager and curious dogs. As stated, positive reinforcement does wonders with this breed, and it's the best way to go about training any dog in general when training it not to bite, act aggressively, or potty training it. It's in its nature to remember every kind thing you do and repay you equally. 
Despite the American bully being very open and friendly towards other dogs, your mix should go through socialization at a young age. It helps him develop healthy relationships and a positive outlook towards other pups, whether you think it takes after the bully's remarkable nature or not. These mixed breed dogs don't shed much, and their soft fur is easy to take care of and undemanding. Nonetheless, if you prefer to keep your environment free from any dog hair, they should be groomed approximately once a week with the right brush. As for dog food, the bully mixes an average 3 to 3.5 cups of kibble per day. It's also a good idea to give your dog unseasoned, cooked meat as well as unsalted, rinsed rice from time to time. Shared American Bully Mixes Health Issues Some bully mix afflictions are relative to the sensitivities of its parent breeds. Maybe you should look for hip and elbow scores in its parents' pedigrees because most of these are susceptible to hip and elbow dysplasia, leading to arthritis in some dogs. To prevent this health condition from surfacing, it is a good idea to strengthen your dog's joints using supplements and keep it in shape through regular exercise and walks. Some eye problems are routinely found in this breed, like deformities of the eyelid, cherry eye, or swelling of the tear duct due to its facial structure. The lifespan of these mixed breeds is average, with 8 to 12 years being the median for these wonderful companion dogs. The intense cherry picking process that led to its creation is what makes this dog so exciting and unique. Many genetic health problems tend to have been bred out of the bully, but you never know. It's a good idea to have the vet test and screen for any defects that might trouble your pooch later on. In conclusion, American Bulldog Puppy with Cropped Ears Some breeders love mixing breeds and creating new and wonderful dogs for all to enjoy. This is especially true with a designer breed like the Bully, as its mixes are some of the most unique and interesting. We have American Bully mixes to fill every niche, one for every household to make the perfect family pet. In a sense, there is a variety of this mixed breed dog for just about anybody. Despite their rugged appearance, they are rarely used as working or guard dogs. They are strictly companion dog breeds and are best viewed as such. You should look into other breeds for the protection of your property. They are exquisite dogs bred for aesthetics and companionship and, as such, make a great family dog. They vary wildly on price estimates, and you can even find a lot of dogs that look like these breeds in dog shelters. All in all, these breeds are borderline impossible not to love, and I believe that anyone will find something to adore about at least one if not all of them.